rolls individually. That was by far the best port we've had all night. It's just we assembled it with one life. Pretty sure this board loses. <laughs> Let's not lose. Scary. I want this in like two turns, probably. Mm. Or next turn. Should be fine next turn. Poisoning time. You hit plat four. Can you go below plat? Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's no floors. No, the problem was even when you had a discounted hammer, it still wasn't worth going hammer dagger. Hammer dagger was that bad. Yeah, like, discounted hammer is the same price as pan, but pan is better. Exactly the right Gubert to want to mana thirst. We could take gems. Gems could be fun. Is mana thirst faster? It is faster. It means it's a better Goober trigger. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. 
Whoa! Like the poison potion burst builds? They haven't felt playable to me since the pestilence nerf. They just take too long to come together. You have to hard commit to it, too. Nice scythe. It'd be a shame if someone poison gooped you. Yeah, sure. Strong health pots. Just get on, grab space. Don't want to roll with this. What? No. Hungry Blades, my healing! I guess I'm combining my potion anyway. Okay... We even have gems for it. That's the worst part. or Hexblade. Uh, you can do whatever. You can honestly skip if you want. Especially with there being less fatigue on ladder. The only reason to take struggles before was half the ladder was fatigue and having struggles to counter struggles was kind of nice. Thanks, Ripsaw Blade. I guess we lose that if we kept playing Hungry Blade. We take orb, it opens up books, which I guess is the main thing we're trying to do now. We need one more food. We'll find that eventually. <laughs> Nice. 
No. Yeah. Let's make this pretty good. Is that unhealing speculation? No, you never pivot to unhealing this late. Poison Ranger. We could pivot out of the Ripsaw into the Death Scythe. I'm kind of interested in seeing how well this does with just Ripsaw, though. Like, we've played this comp with Death Scythe on Ladder a ton. We know it's good. Or at least we know what it loses to. I still don't want it super fast. Something like this to get it around like six or seven seconds. Slow to beat fatigue without Death Scythe. That's bad. That matchup's supposed to be the auto win.
positioning this. Yuck. I guess I'm supposed to move everything over one, have this vertical. space above. We'll figure it out when we get the bird. Oh, I can be double triggering this. Real quick, let's fix this positioning. Get all this over. Go there, this goes here. I just want that for luck removal anyway. change uh they've said the mana change was accidental it wasn't supposed to be changing the mana as far as it being a better goober trigger it's kind of cool <laughs> like it at a it's i don't know it hasn't really mattered at all are they trying to change i don't know well, it said in the notes that they were trying to change the healing number. I don't know if the healing number was always 8, or if it was 10 before. Yeah, if it's 8 on live, I'm not sure. They might have thought that they were just reducing, they might have just reduced the wrong number. Like they were looking at the parameters, they saw a number was 10. They changed the 10 number thinking it was the healing number. So they might have intended to make the healing like 6 or something. You won. Hooray. A little chaotic. That's what I thought they were doing when I read the change initially. I thought they were reducing the cooldown so that it cleansed more blind without trying to impact how much it healed.
that's everything. <laughs> Two villain sword parts in the first nine rounds. I'm sorry. Oh, speaking of. Chilling on the coins. Reasonable. Very reasonable. I take this for the luck. Everything's 90% accuracy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just cap out the accuracy. Uh, I don't have another armor piece. aren't real. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Where's the bird go? Do I want to fit in the other bird? Sure, there's a way to make this work. I mean, I could just do this. We did buy it basically exclusively to knock down our opponent's luck. slot on bird. Move four slot right one. That griefs my potions, right? So two by two. Can do... Uh, wait, no, because it's only this.
That works. Assuming there's an easy spot for the book. Put the XE under the buckler. Aha. Yeah, that's fine. Hooray! <laughs> this is a really common setup. <laughs> the two by two the buckler is half in the right one, then the two one by ones can fix the other side. Uh, oh, that's the chair. So one by one by two by two. Oh, was there a two by two in the shop? <laughs> I probably could have saved some time and done that. Well, 